Introduction to Compound Interest. Suppose Ivan places $6,500 in an account that pays 12% interest compounded each year. Assume that no withdrawals are made from the account. Follow the instructions below. Do not do any rounding. Okay, we'll have to remember this for our answers. Um, okay, so find the amount in the account at the end of one year. So I'm going to make a table here. So my years and the amount. So at the end of one year, okay, I started with $6,500 in the account. So in fact, I'm going to make a zero year. So at times zero years have passed. At the very beginning, I started with $6,500 in the account. Okay, now one year later, I have earned 12% interest. Okay, now 12% as a decimal is 0.12. So I'm going to take my $6,500 here and multiply by... 0.12 to figure out, well, how much interest is that actually, okay? Um, so here on my calculator, I'm going to do 6,500 times 0.12, $780. So not too bad. I earned $780 in interest. Actually, let me write this over here to the side. So 6,500 times 0 0.12 gave me $780, okay? And then I need to take that $780 and add it on because the bank is adding this much money to my account. They're paying me interest. So plus 780, so at the end of one year, I will have... 6,500 plus the 780 interest, 7,280. So at the end of one year, I will have 7,280. Now, it took me two steps of calculations here. I had to figure out what the interest was, and then I had to add it on. I can do that all in one step by, instead of multiplying by 0.12, if I multiply by 1.12. Cuz what this means is we're keeping 100% of what we already had in there. This is 112% as a decimal. Okay? Keeping 100% of what was in there plus we're increasing it by 0.12. Okay? And if I do that, I'm going to get the 7280 just all in one step, one calculation, instead of having to multiply and then add, as I did up there. So I'm going to try that here. So if I do 6500 times 1.12, 7280, see, all in one step. Because 100% is 100 so if I combine these two together, right, keep 100% of what we have, adding on 0.12 more, that's a combined factor of 1.12. So now let's do the next one. Now with compound interest, right now I have 72.80 in the account. So they're paying a percentage of whatever is in the account. So even though they already paid me some interest, now they're going to pay me interest on that interest. It's kind of awesome when you're earning it. So now I start with 7280 and I'm going to use this little trick here. I'm just going to multiply by 1.12 because I want to keep 100% of that money. I don't lose any of that, but I gain another 12%. So by multiplying by 1.12, so 7280 times 1.12, I'm going to have 8153.60 in the account after two years. So 
60. And they don't want me to round, so I'm just going to put the full number there. 